Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today we're gonna look at the Ibex 10 LHRK. Now that's a lot of letters, just remember the 10 part and that will get you to this trailer right here. Now it's very cool because it's only 15 feet long. It only weighs 24.29, so under 2,500 pounds, tiny. It's got a rear kitchen, sleeps two on the inside, two or three up top. Everything I'm gonna show you here comes standard, so you don't have to worry about options. This 270 awning, the rooftop tent, all the extras, standard on this trailer. It's affordable, it is ready to go off-road, super cool, stick with me. Now remember, features and options, they can be a little different as time goes on, so be sure to check with the details when you go to see your dealer. All right, well, there's a lot to see inside and out. We're gonna start inside as usual, so let's get started. I don't wanna start off with a negative, but there's no step on the side of this. The good part, huge clearance. That's what's so important about this trailer. It not only weighs less than 2,500 pounds, but it has this great clearance on the side, these off-road tires, the beast mode, so it is ready for off-highway traveling. Just makes it a little awkward getting in and out. I'm five foot tall. I just sit down and scoot my way in. So don't watch this part. Okay, now I'm in and it's really comfortable. It's four foot seven inches from the floor to the top. I am sitting on about 10 inches of cushion, but look at the headroom. So you're probably taller than I am, but you don't need to comment that I make it look so big. It is big in here. It is a very nice space, especially with the doors open, the window, I don't know, super comfy. These chairs, you know, they're really nice to sit in. I've got a big TV in front of me and a fireplace. I mean, awesome. Tables flip up right here. Let's see, it kind of catches on the front of this if you don't push it all the way back. So you've got to give it a tug here. You've got tables on both sides. That's super nice. It just is a very comfortable space to be in. Now, of course, these fold right out and they are gonna make a full sleeping area. And it's a true queen. It's 60 by 80, just like the queen size bed you have at home. That is very nice. Let's look at what's behind me here on this wall. Right up here, of course, the converter, it's gonna have the breakers and fuses. 110 plug back here and down below, two USBs and an 8,000 BTU air conditioner in the side. So really very comfortable. This is gonna be a pull down shade here. So of course you might wanna use that blackout shade when you go to sleep. You have your smoke detector at the top and right in front, you have a high powered fan. Now, if you need a little bit of breeze at night, just open the window here, turn on that fan. You're gonna get airflow coming right through here. If you're camping off the grid, you may not be able to run that AC. So that's really gonna help you out. If it gets cold, you've got a fireplace. Now, not only is it pretty cool just to have that little electric fire going, but it also can keep you warm. So that's kind of double duty. And in a trailer this size, you need that. All right, let's take a look at a little bit of the storage up here. Now, underneath this fireplace here, you have the carbon monoxide LP detector. It's got a nice green light on it. In a space this small, you wanna always be sure that's working because carbon monoxide or that LP, man, it can fill up this space really quickly. Below there, you've got just nice and open space to put anything you need in the cubbies and two open spaces here. Now, these spaces, they're not small. This is about 15 inches deep. This one is even more, maybe almost two feet deep. So a lot of space there for clothing, for gear, whatever you need. Now, over here in this bottom cupboard, you'll see there is the 
TST tire pressure monitoring system. That is installed on this trailer and comes with it. Do you remember I mentioned no options? Everything we're gonna talk about is included. Also, the JBL Flip 5 speaker. These are great because you can put music anywhere, inside, outside, at the picnic table, and it's waterproof. So a nice little ad here for this trailer. And you know, you've got to admit, for a trailer this size, you could really enjoy a rainy day in here, right? Okay, let's look on the other side. There's a little more to see. Up in this corner, you've got the standard monitor system. So up at the top, it is gonna tell you how much charge you have in your batteries and how full your 30 gallon fresh water tank is. To the right here is the water pump switch. Up above, right there is going to be your porch light and the porch light can either have a white light or a yellow light. The yellow is so nice at night and it helps to keep the bugs from, you know, congregating right there at your door. Down below, you notice we have that switch on. I wanna be sure you don't miss this because this gives you a heating pad on your 30 gallon fresh water tank. If you wanna go where it's cold or if you're traveling in below freezing weather, that is gonna be really helpful. All right, right here you got the fire extinguisher. I don't need to tell you what that is, but again, safety features I always love to point out. Doors on both sides with screens, so you can get nice airflow through here. You know, I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so you can get one last look at this nice ambiance here in this trailer. It's super simple just to roll out these uh, seating pieces here and make a nice open bed. Very comfortable in here. I can't quite stand up, but almost. So you guys, don't worry about the small space in here. It's great for relaxing. It's great for sleeping, but you can always experience the outdoors and sleep upstairs. All right, let's go outside and take a look at why this rig is so nice to take off the highway. So you remember, this has such great clearance. I don't know, this is a great place for me to sit and watch the sunset. If it's raining, I have a 270 degree awning. But first, let's talk about the clearance, the off-road capability here. You see it says beast mode, that is the suspension right under here. With the coil suspension, you're gonna get lots of travel. It is gonna handle those bumpy roads and look at the clearance you've got right here with these off-road 15 inch tires. This is a nice steel fender. They even put some non-slip tape on all of it so that when you step up here to unzip the awning or work with your rooftop tent, you're perfectly safe. So this awning, let's talk about it for just a minute. It's what they call a bat wing. Very simple to put up. A lot of times with these smaller rigs, it's kind of cumbersome to crank out the awning, get it out where you need it to be, flip down the legs. These legs are integrated here. They just flip up into the inside, the whole thing swings into place and you zip it up. Really simple and look at the coverage. This moves all the way around to the back where the kitchen is. So your kitchen is covered and right here where you step outdoors. Great design. This Ibex has 110 plug right here, porch light right there at the top, and let's come around the back, take a look at this kitchen. Flip up right here. Now, if you don't have your awning out, this acts as a cover for you if you're back here cooking. That's really nice for me because sometimes I just wanna stop and I don't wanna set up completely. Just maybe do a little cooking, make a sandwich, whatever. Storage at the top, nice blue lighting so you can see everything up there and on this side as well, you know, I bet no one is curious about what these little circles are for. So if there's any beverages you'd like to take with you, uh, they might fit perfectly up there. All right, let's take a look at this refrigerator. This is a 3.3 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. This runs strictly off the battery. Now this battery can be charged in a couple of different ways, either driving a solar panel or 
it can be charged when you're plugged in at a campsite. But it uses very little power, so don't worry about that. Right down here, this is the actual coil that plugs into your spray port. That's a great place to store it, but you know if it's not something you use very often, you could put it somewhere else. It's not one of those short things either. I don't know how long it is, but it is going to give you lots of coverage. Plugs in right here. It's just a nice quick connect. Plugs right in. And then when you're done, you unhook it and put it back in whatever storage place works best for you. I think I might want to keep something else right there for my kitchen, but I don't know. Everybody has different options. You do have a magnetic cover here on this space, so you've got lots of storage under there. Sink with a nice high arched faucet with a sprayer. And 110 plug. This switch right here is going to be your lighting at the top. I love that you have a fair amount of counter space and you still have a stove. Just unclip right here and pull it out. And I've got a nice two burner stove. Ingenious design, very space saving. I don't know, great rear kitchen here. All right, and you know, one of the things I love the most about it, I can actually close the top. This height right here, it, it's probably six foot-ish, so a little taller up there. Keep that in mind, you don't wanna have to duck under here. This closes down, now you see there is a receiver here if you wanted to add a bike rack. Maybe even a tray on the back to carry an extra generator, something for uh, camping off the grid. If you wanted to bring your own grill, you do have a gas port underneath, so you could set that up right next to your kitchen here. All right, awning comes around all the way to this side, so really nice. Just makes it great. In Texas, we love the shade, so that's especially nice. Also, coming around to the back side here, your 30 amp cord is going to plug in right at the back corner. That is when you're at the campsite, of course. Now, right next to it is going to be the dump valve for the gray tank. This is a two inch connection here, and it is different than a standard sewer connection. There is no gray tank, so you would want to get maybe a portable tank if you're not at a campsite to catch your gray water. All right. Let's talk about this rooftop tent because I've been waiting the whole time to tell you about this. It can hold three people up there. I mean, there is tons of space. And this ladder feels very secure. You notice there are poles down the side here. This is a nice size rooftop tent and it's not gonna move and shake on you because you can support it at the corners. So let's get up here and take a look. This rooftop tent is really impressive. It is so comfortable. The mattress feels like foam. It's got a quilted pad on it. And it's, it's soft, but it's kind of a vinyl, so it'd be easy to clean up. You know, crawling in and out from the woods, you might get a little bit of mud and dirt in here. The other thing that I think is really impressive is the exterior tent fabric is insulated. So if you're in really cold weather, this is gonna help you out. This rain fly, the clear at the top, the screens, everything unzips to a screen or unzips to be wide open. Just so many great features in here. It has pockets. I don't know. I've seen a lot of rooftop tents. This one is impressive and I would not feel a bit claustrophobic up here. So I, I don't know. I might opt to be on the second floor instead of in the nice cozy fireplace room, but maybe it's a toss up. Do you guys notice the shoe bags up here? Super handy, because when you're crawling up there, maybe you don't want your muddy shoes inside your tent. Just slip them in those bags. All right, now these doors, they have friction hinge on them, and that means they stay wherever you put them. You don't have to clip them into place. That's a nice feature when you're out camping. 30 gallon fresh water tank fill right here. If you're going off the grid and you're not gonna be near a hydrant, that's the way to go. 
underneath that's the city water fill of course that'll connect right to the hydrant if you're in a campsite. You do have a drain right underneath here. Uh, it's about two feet in on the camper, but that's going to allow you to drain that 30 gallon fresh water tank when you're done camping or if you're in really cold weather and just don't want to have it freeze. So right up here in the front is the plug for a portable solar panel. If you wanted solar to charge your battery, if you're not at a campsite, that's the way to keep that battery charged and plug it in right here. If you have a solar panel that has a different kind of plug, then there are adapters. Buy it at Amazon, simple to use. All right, that's great for off-grid. You guys are probably familiar with them. And right up front, if you are at a campsite and they happen to have cable, or you have a portable satellite. Just plug it in right here and fire up that TV and you're ready to go. Now, if you don't have either of those, you do have the WineGuard TV antenna right on top, and that is gonna be a 360 uh, TV antenna that's gonna pick up whatever signals are nearby. All right, you notice there's stabilizer jacks on all four corners, so of course, if you're up in that rooftop tent, you don't want any movement or any sway. And just in front, the battery disconnect switch. The only time you wanna use that is when you're in storage, right? So always keep that on if you're camping or if you're traveling, be sure that your car is charging that battery as well. And right next to it, you'll notice that light, that is your tire pressure monitor system. Remember, that is standard on this. So you will always be able to tell from that monitor if your tires are getting low or you're having any problems there. Now this little piece right here, it's a nice handy thing because when you unplug from your vehicle, you wanna be sure that it doesn't get filled with any dirt and grime by laying on the ground. So you've got a system here to just drop it in there and keep it off the ground. 20 pound propane tank in here, five gallons of propane and electric jack on the front. Remember, everything is standard on this. Now let's move right over here. The diamond plate rock guard is gonna keep all those rocks that get kicked up when you're running off road from damaging the front of your trailer. It comes up really high on this trailer. Super nice feature for something that's going off road. Got a nice storage cabinet right here. Now, they put magnets on the back. This is kind of unusual, but these cranks always get lost. You're always looking for them. They put magnets so they're gonna hold them into place and you still get the full use of your storage. So one of these is going to be for overriding the manual part of your tongue jack. And the other one, of course, is for the stabilizer jacks. Now they're not gonna level the trailer. You level the trailer yourself and then you just stabilize it with those four jacks. All right, storage space here. And that brings us right back around to the front of the trailer. This has got so many great features. Remember, it's just over 2,400 pounds, 15 feet long, super easy to tow, and it gives you so much versatility. This is the 10 LHRK, and it's an Ibex product. Take a look. If we can answer any questions, you let us know. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV, and I'll see you next time.